Alright guys, so today I'm going to be spending the next 100 days as Kakashi Hatake in Shindo Life. So yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so to become Kakashi Hatake, we need to complete three different steps. Step number one, we have to dress up as Kakashi. Step number two, we have to get both his bloodlines, which are Shiva and the new Raiden Saburu in the same account. And finally, for the third and final step, we're going to be fighting Mike Guy and Obito to see if we can beat them in a 1v1. So yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, you can see he we are in Shindo Life and first of all we have to go click to the edit menu as you can see we do have Kakashi Hatake's outfit as you can see we do have the ability back on this account this is one of my friends account so yeah he doesn't he's never leveled up Shiva before so we can go and get Shiva Akuma and put it into the second slot for the new bloodline all I have to do is just go and spin it so yeah I'm going to be spinning it if not uh, I might buy it with Robux so yeah let's start spinning hopefully we can get it so yeah let's start the spinning we, I'm gonna spend the rest of the spins that I have so 280 spins and yeah let's see if we can get it hopefully we oh oh i thought i got it first try bro oh my god my heart dropped so yeah let's start spinning and i'm gonna be right back if i get it hopefully if not i'm gonna buy it with robux Okay, so I'm getting bored of spinning here, so I think I'm just gonna buy it with Robux. So I'm gonna buy it, and yeah, I should have it. So yeah, let me quickly buy this new bloodline. And there we go, we managed to buy it. So let's equip this. So yeah, okay, we need to first of all equip this and equip Shiva Akuma. So let's quickly get Shiva Akuma here, second bloodline slot. For elements, we're going to be going with fire and also lightning, of course. Literally the easiest elements, the like easiest choices I've made in any of my videos. So yeah, we basically got the perfect loadout. So let's jump in and start leveling go because we're at level zero so let's go into ember village here real quick so we just spawned in a level one in this world thankfully my friend does grind this game out a lot and he hits ranking up so i ranked up for him here we are going to be d2 in this 100 days and we got 16 million which is crazy uh, the guy plays the game so much as you can see oh he leveled it up a little bit but that should be fine i'm not gonna equip it for like until this reaches because this equips level 50 i'm pretty sure yeah there we go i'm not gonna use it until this reaches level 50 as well to make it fair let's check out elements here real quick he's leveled both of them up but he hasn't bought the whole thing which is quite interesting so we can buy the moves as we go along so yeah let's quickly first of all we got a thousand uh, points here we're going to be splitting it up in evenly so we're going to be going you know what no 200 in each actually first of all there we go and i want to put 200 more to taijutsu because we're going to start off by first trying to get our first mode i don't know which mode to rock i think i'm going to rock this mode shiver for till level 500 and when we're past level 500 we'll use the other mode and the moves we can just mix and match between both moves it doesn't really matter so so we need to find the nearest slugs here and start log farming because we need to get to at least the first 50 levels of this so I can actually start using the other shiver bloodline and then we can start doing a lot of green scrolls. So yeah, let's just start uh, hitting these guys trying to get leveled up. Oh, okay. Wow, high levels already. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to just stay here till around level uh, 200 level so I can have the stats to actually do a lot of green scrolls and yeah guys, I'm going to be right back. Thank you. 
all right we should be at level 100 there we go so let me quickly stop the auto clicker here all right there we go so let's check how much we leveled up okay we leveled up a decent bit so let's equip this bloodline here and we can all use the first form for the first time there we go okay shiver akuma we ain't really got nothing special the only thing we got is a c spec which is uh uh quite mid so actually the c spec is actually quite good it gives you speed and stuff so it should help us out with movement and stuff like that so yeah can i use form 2 yet let me check i forgot what form 2 is here so let me un c spec real quick right can we use form 2 okay nope okay so we can't use anything yet uh we can actually start buying some of our elements so let me put some stats in first of all let me d rank really quick okay there we go and we start splitting this mm, 300 a piece uh, there we go okay 100 to chi and ninjutsu and let's quickly go to elements and let's see what we can buy let's just buy everything we have basically infinite money and okay i'll stop but i can't buy stuff okay so i think i can't buy okay okay i'll use these couple of moves here first for a couple of green skull missions get some level up here because yeah we're looking a bit weak when it comes to leveling up uh, there we go and let's mode up here okay we should be good i want to check how much stats we actually get or how much xp we get from one green scroll so let's quickly take this bad boy on there we go and let's use my c-spec give me give me some like range and distance and stuff like that all that good stuff some insane speed so yeah this is actually a very good bloodline to actually move around in all right there we go okay, let's start off by using these chittery attacks some fire styles and they should be dead i'm hoping okay use this and there we go so how much xp okay 500k xp that's actually amazing do these get any xp they do okay that's actually quite nice because i want to get the first move of shiver at least pretty soon all right let's get some chi and now it's just me grinding as much green scores as i can which shouldn't be too bad can i get a kunai i might get a weapon a kunai weapon because kakashi does actually use a kunai quite a decent bit so let's actually check if there is some okay there is straight away this is throwable i want an attack kunai is that even in the game but you know let's just use these kunais equip them so we can start throwing kunais and stuff yeah where are these green scores at for some reason every time i try to find green scores i just never find them which is find it quite funny to be honest it's like shinder life is okay there we go i see one what what happened did the hacker just i think there's a hacker in this game and he's taking up all the green scrolls oh what an l yeah there has to be a hacker in this game bruh i need to find some green scrolls okay another green quest here let's take this bad boy up okay there we go okay some rogue assassins this should be quite easy the best thing is for this mode is actually i got the movement so we can get there in like no time which makes this a lot easier actually right there we go let's deform back let's keep using our elemental moves that's all we can do for now and there we go that was uh, hella easy wow my stats are starting to rack up here hopefully i can use them pretty soon we are getting very low xp though there isn't any boost right now that's going on we are deranking this account too so i'm not getting the best amount of xp that we could be getting and if i'm going to be honest we are very very weak so yeah i might have to do a training out to get myself a lot stronger because so far we are nowhere near the true strength of kakashi well there we go we made it let's just keep killing these guys here with all our elemental attacks okay there we go thank god we killed them because i was running out of chi but yeah i think we do need a very big time skip either a time skip or we could go for a chaining arc so we could just start hitting the locks for a decent while okay i put my chi up so we should be able to buy some more of these moves here okay i can only buy one more so let's get this one and let's get h there we go okay we've got a full elemental slot going on here which is quite nice got my chi up my stamina is looking pretty good too so i can actually start running around more with this okay i have so many green scrolls so many which is quite good okay we can actually do green scrolls whilst i'm in my camry dimension which is quite nice just a little bit too fast wait what i might not be able to actually yeah i can't i have to yeah okay so to, okay because just loading oh he could be bugged let me check okay yeah i can't get it in my camry dimension which is quite annoying but it's all good right here we are so let's use like the fireball jutsus and stuff there we go let's use our new moves oh those moves are actually kind of clean okay i don't really use elements a lot in this game so it's actually quite fun to use them here but we're so close to level 200 and we can't use any of the other mode uh the other mode till we're around like 500 plus so that's quite annoying but it's all good okay let me uh what the hell did i just do okay there we go i'm back come here bro there's so many green scrolls is this sasuke what the hell sasuke with blue hair okay so more obelisk rogue assassins okay we're literally so close okay what someone just killed it for me you know what we will take that we never say no to free xp all right wait to find okay I, that guy is a legend for actually helping me out there right, let's collect this mission i think this should be our last one before we go in a massive training guard and of course just my look it's the furthest mission away from the village 
But with this speed, we should be able to get there in no time. Actually, never mind. Oh, right, I'm running out of MD and stamina. This is not looking good for me whatsoever. And I've run out of MD. No. You know what? We're just going to have to pop off with no shiny gun. Hopefully, we can. It's going to be uh, quite tricky. Come on. I'm just comboing up all my attacks. Come on, let's get some M1 damage. Let's use our shuriken. Okay, let me get up here. Let me use... Okay, yeah, I can't really do anything anymore. I need to get some chi up. Come on. Use this move. Nice. Okay, we'll start to kill some of them. Jump up. Shuriken. M1. Up tilt. There we go. Yeah, we are rocking them. Oh, yo. Oh, we are rocking these guys up. Oh, no way. Okay, we will take that. We will take that for sure. We've gained a lot of levels. But now I am going to be going on a quick time skip arc. Uh, try and get myself up a couple levels. Oh, we can look at our first move here. So let's check this out. I forgot what this actually is. So this is my first time. Well, I've used this mod before, but this is my first time using it on this account. And I haven't used it in so long. What is this? Oh, you click on them. I'm pretty sure. You just click on the enemy. Or it could be a counter. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I forgot what this is. So we're going to have to experiment and stuff. But yeah, guys, I'm going to quickly uh, go on a quick time skip arc. Level up that up for 500 and yeah i'm gonna be right back it's gonna just be a lot of me doing like green scrolls and stuff back and forth so yeah guys i'm gonna be right back and there we go we managed to hit level 500 finally after a long period of time i managed to unlock every single thing from my elements too which is amazing which helped me out a lot like chidori and this move right here which is like kirin and these two are really really good i don't know why this actually unequipped so we put it back on H. but yeah the first move here of this is so op it's helping me out so much and now we can finally equip this and start using this new bloodline which is the whole reason i'm doing this video because this new bloodline and this new bloodline is no joke trust me guys this bloodline is actually so good i think it's one of the best new bloodlines they've made so far this is such an op bloodline so yeah we do have a lot more power now a lot more skill and we have more q specs more moves e specs too which is also amazing which is like a counter the c spec of this mode is actually busted pretty busted too so yeah yeah we're looking pretty pretty good we'll do a couple of green scrolls here and after that we're going to be maxing out everything off camera i'm gonna probably like go lock farm or i don't really know what i'm gonna do but we're going for another a massive time skip arc of me this is just basically from Naruto to Naruto Shippuden that big of a time skip but yeah let's make our way all the way to this green skull here the worst thing about this bloodline is that we don't have as much movement but it don't matter where are these guys okay you know what we can just m1 and then q spec that should take care of him c spec there we go and there should be one more right okay that one more is over there let's just use this move there we go drag him along with me and the q spec should kill him there we go so this could be pretty simple to level up so yeah this should not take that long whatsoever do I have any stats do I have okay I have found stats there's no point if it's not more than like a k stats there's no point putting it in won't really give you that much of a difference okay here you know the green scroll let's make our way over there all right there's a lot of people here you'll see how fast we kill these guys it won't even be like close straight away to the q spec straight into this and if we want to we can go e spec but there's no point they're all gonna die so it's gonna be pretty simple to level up and i think that should be it so yeah guys i'm gonna quickly get to max level because then after that we're going to be doing two important things which is fighting my guy and fighting obito uh their boss's variants so yeah i'm gonna quickly go level up the last couple of levels and yeah guys i'm gonna be right back all right guys and i'm back i managed to complete all the leveling that i do need all i need to do now is to fight obito and my guy so we're gonna start by fighting obito obito is basically forged a sengoku you know forged rengoku one of them i don't know but i know he is in blaze village so yeah let's head over to blaze village and fight him so yeah after that, we're going to be fighting my guy to end the video off but before we fight my guy we need to get our last susano spirit form so yeah let's go find forged a sengoku Alright guys, so here we are, we just spawned in, okay, let's quickly uh, mode up, there we go, into this mode, and yeah, let's go find uh, Forged Rengoku or Sengoku, not too sure, okay, I'm pretty sure he's right here, there we go, Forged Akuma, that's the one that we need to fight, so yeah, let's wait for him to spawn in, someone just defeated him, so we have to wait for him to spawn in, then we can fight him, should be pretty easy, hopefully, okay, here we are, so let's get Forged Akuma here, all we're gonna do is fight the big boss for now, so here we are, oh no, I think there's a hacker in this game, which isn't good, okay, let's just start fighting the big Forged Akuma Sengoku, boss thing try to get the spirit from him that's the most important thing for now yeah there is a hacker in this game which is so unfortunate hopefully he doesn't kill this kill his guy i right, see spec okay hopefully he doesn't kill that boss with like one shot in hacks or anything it doesn't seem like he's got one shot in hacks which is quite good because i want to get this so badly come on there we go okay, i'm doing decent damage to this guy so far okay this is yeah okay we should be able to kill this guy no i'm wasting that move okay he's standing still no no that kill was taken from me oh no we have to find a different server so i think i'm gonna go into one of my private servers real quick all right here we are for round two because the first round was interrupted so the best strategy for this is um just go after this guy first so we pick him up and uh, he doesn't actually go back to his original spawn spot when he goes too far so we take him up to these mountains here right, he'll be following me soon enough hope i'm hoping this works okay he's following me now okay so we can come here get ready for him to come there we go and we just wait for little old friend here to come here quickly there we go and now 
we just do these attacks doesn't really matter what attacks we do he's a bit of an annoying one to actually fight because yeah he's got a lot of projectiles and stuff so it's quite annoying but it nevertheless it shouldn't be too difficult so more fire duties here and to end it well not to end it off but to do a lot of damage 200k here damage left should be easy let's use this there we go do this and do this this bloodline isn't really the greatest to actually do boss battles with so i would recommend using different bot like a bloodline to actually uh boss farm this is a very op bloodline when it comes to pvp that's it but there we go shiver akuma let's equip this let's do more that of this mode there we go and let's go get the other one. Oh, I haven't even locked this move yet because it's quite trash, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, let's mode up here real quick. Form 4. Uh, let's see, let's see the drip, let's see the drip. Okay, we are looking hella nice. And let's go kill the actual boss. Hopefully, it's not too difficult here. I mean, with M1s, we should be doing like a lot of damage. So, oh, I forgot the C-Spec isn't really uh, a good C-Spec for this mode. Uh, let's just start using all these moves, I guess. There we go. Uh, half HP already, we should be good. Okay, I'm, I got transported. What is this? This is what I can do, but like, I can do it better i guess but now i should to keep hitting him i don't really have any big hitting moves take a look like a lot of the hp from him so we're just gonna keep going with these little moves we're still doing hair damage though so i am happy and the m1s are the like the best thing for this because uh yeah my hitbox is very very like small so yeah he can't hit me unless uh i get off my sister mode and i got transported okay i can't even charge my chi in this so yeah i'm basically getting destroyed on the outside yeah there we go yeah, this is actually a closer fight than i thought it would be but i am using like the worst bloodlines for like boss farming so so it makes sense okay let's use some range there we go and to end it off with kieran there we go we managed to destroy him so that's all we to add the way and we unlocked our new center form so now we've really got one person left to fight which is going to be my guy so i'm pretty, I'm pretty sure his name is bruce kenshi so yeah let me quickly go find him and i'm gonna be right back all right here we are ryuji kenshi the final boss you know what no, no actually we're gonna, we're gonna use the new bloodline here we can take him down the new bloodline let's show him why we're way so much better come on my guy should be in a wheelchair by now but we got this come here okay this is gonna be a lot harder because i don't have the the m1 advantage that i had against obito but we should be good oh yeah i forgot how hard this guy is all right counter ability come here boy the q spec give me the e spec too give me a couple of counters come on hit me please there we go i missed it's not good okay he is uh he's actually putting up a decent fight i gotta say my guy might be stronger than obito which are something i thought i'd never say and don't say you my guy beats because he's got eight gates ten tails obito destroys actually yeah not really i just actually like it's not really I, I would say if obito had the susano he'd one shot guy if, if he had the power of this susano he'd one shot guy that's that's what i gotta say anyways because he can just put him in a new dimension and how he's gonna escape he's gonna die due to the eight, eight gates countdown so that would be unfortunate for my guy but he won't be fighting obito anytime soon i guess all right come here boy we're doing hella damage to him but he's doing hella damage back so this is a very close fight you know what time to use no we couldn't use it we couldn't use artillery yo the oh the m1 range is crazy so i did not realize the m1 range was this good okay we are getting destroyed right now we charge up a chi please don't hit me no okay charge up here you'll be in a safe area and we're going straight back there's no point healing there we go let's see everything everything that i got everything that i got there we go okay we're doing big boy damage right now Okay, now we gotta run for away again. No, 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 no. I can't die. Okay, give me give me a full chi. As soon as I get my chakra back up, he's dead. Let's go, my guy. All these fireballs. Come on, please. How is he not dead yet? Oh my god. Oh, he's too far. Never mind. There's nothing I can't reach. Fireball here. Oh, he's so close to dying. A couple of M1s. This should be it. Come on. Run away. M1s. One more M1. One more M1. Okay, I'm low, but he's low too. Come on, kill him, please. I'm dead. Come on let's go let's go we managed to kill my guy let's go that means we've completed the challenge so yeah we managed to complete every single thing that we did need to complete for today's episode so yeah i can finally say that 100 days kakashi challenge has been completed so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this whole video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you smash that subscribe button and yeah guys let me know in the comments down below guys what other characters i should try become and do 100 days challenge with and yeah i'm gonna catch you all next time peace out